The Philadelphia Flyers and newly acquired defenseman Tony D'Angelo have agreed to a two-year contract. We'll get into the details right now. Hey, everybody. So we have some more signing news from today. This was from earlier this afternoon. The Philadelphia Flyers and defenseman Tony D'Angelo have agreed on a two-year contract, $5 million per season for D'Angelo. Obviously, the Flyers acquired D'Angelo last week in a trade with the Carolina Hurricanes. It saw draft picks go to Carolina, and now they sign the pending restricted free agent to a two-year deal and get him locked in to the Flyers roster and lineup. And uh, we'll take a look at it here. It's... Whoops. And uh, we'll take a look at it here. Uh, came out earlier today. Flyers officially signed Tony D'Angelo to a two-year contract with an AAV of $5 million. That is straight from the Philadelphia Flyers. I promise you I'm not just making stuff up. And uh, we look at Tony's stats. Obviously, it's been a tumultuous career for Tony D'Angelo to this point, but he's still just 26 years old still a younger player, and showed that he still has a lot of positive upside to his game. Had a great, great season last year with Carolina. Um, you know, 51 points in 64 games and was a plus 30 with the Hurricanes last year. We, we know about all the off-the-ice issues, um, you know, what eventually got him th basically kicked out of New York. Um you know, I, I don't think there's a need. Everybody knows about the off-the-ice stuff with D'Angelo. And yes, there's always the possibility and the risk of that kind of those kinds of problems popping up again. But at the same time, D'Angelo had a great year last year. He kept himself out of trouble. He kept his mouth shut for the most part. He didn't cause any big issues with Carolina. And he had a great season. And when you're looking at this from a hockey perspective and what D'Angelo did last year, the Philadelphia Flyers are a significantly better team with Tony D'Angelo as a part of their decor than what they had last season, um, particularly on that right side. This is a huge upgrade for the Flyers as long as D'Angelo continues to perform the way that he did last season and not have any off-ice issues like he did last season. You know, if he can keep himself on the straight and narrow and just play good hockey, this is a huge win for the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, you know, this is a guy, he had a 53-point season back in 2019-2020 with the Rangers. Then he had all the problems during 2021, essentially, you know, got kicked off the team, basically. Then goes to Carolina last year and just talk about a ridiculous, redemptive season for a player that really really needed one and again 51 points plus 30 great player for them had an awesome year was also very strong for Carolina in the playoffs as well if we look at his playoff numbers last season he had 10 points in 14 games and he's a good offensive defenseman he has a ton of talent and he can be a really really good player when he when he's keeping himself on that straight and narrow, and that's what he was able to do last season. I would love to see D'Angelo be able to do it again this year. Um, because like I said, if he can, this is a massive upgrade for the Philadelphia Flyers at a cost that really isn't too bad because obviously the risk of these off-ice issues is kind of keeping his contracts down a little bit. From a pure talent standpoint, this is a great deal. And um, you know, th this is a guy that I, I think looking at Philadelphia, there's not much that Philadelphia has done under Chuck Fletcher that I, I really like. This is a move that I think can significantly make them better, particularly on the back end. And that's probably the biggest area of concern for the Flyers. One of their biggest problems has been their D over the past two seasons. And why the Flyers have been as awful as they've been is because their D core has stunk. It's not even like it's average. It's awful. One of the worst in the league. The, adding D'Angelo and what he brings to the table to that decor significantly improves it. And I just hope that he can, you know, keep his head on straight, 
not get himself into any problems off the ice or with his mouth or on social media or in that locker room and just go out there and play good hockey because, man, if he can do that, this is going to be a better Flyers decor. There's no doubt about it. It gives them a right shot guy that can play on the top pair. Ryan Ellis, with his health, is still a huge question mark. Um, you know, in, in, if El, let's say Ellis can play next season. Ellis is healthy. He's ready to go in the lineup. You've got D'Angelo, Ellis, and Ristolainen on the right side. That drops Ristolainen down to the third pair where he belongs. And, you know, obviously you're massively overpaying for a third pair defenseman there, but at least you're not trying to play Rasmus Ristolainen 30 minutes a night. Because, God, he is not even close to that level of player. This really helps the right side of their D. Now, if Ellis can't play, that puts Risto back up in the top four where he does not belong. But at least it gives you a top pair guy in D'Angelo who showed he can play big minutes last year. And, you know, if you pair him up with a good partner, can probably have another 50-ish point season and be a plus player. So... Uh, I, I just, I, their decor, Philadelphia's decor, which has been an absolute train wreck for the past two seasons, is significantly better with D'Angelo in the lineup than not. I just hope the off the ice issues stay a thing of the past and he can, you know, keep it, keep himself on the right track, keep himself playing good hockey, focused on hockey, not the off the ice stuff. And, you know, can have another good season. And if he can do that, then he's going to be an asset to the Philadelphia Flyers. So Philadelphia acquires D'Angelo last week from Carolina. Now they sign him to a two-year deal, $5 million per season. If if he can keep himself the, going the way that he was last year, this is an A-plus move for the Philadelphia Flyers. Obviously, because it's D'Angelo and the history there, there's some risk. But I'm hoping that he can keep it going like he did last season, and this will end up being good for Philly. But that's my thoughts on Tony D'Angelo's contract with the Flyers. Thank you guys so much for watching. And with that, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our merchandise store, membership, and donations down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all soon.